I think a lot of people right now are upset with the state of our economy. Economic freedom is something that everyone's really receptive to. Hi, I'm Tim Cavanaugh for Reason TV. We're here with Michelle Fields, who's the campus coordinator for Students for Liberty in the LA area. Michelle, thanks for coming and joining us. Yeah, thank Can you. Can you tell us a little bit about Students for Liberty? Yeah, Students for Liberty is a nonprofit run by students for students. So we distribute resources to pro-liberty student groups on campuses throughout the entire country, and we provide resources for them to have conferences and have speakers come. What would be something other than condoms that students would be interested in getting as uh, their handout? What do you guys give away? <laughs> we give away a lot of pro-liberty books and just resources and literature for them to learn more about these ideas. You mentioned that you're at Pepperdine, yes. and you are the campus coordinator for the entire LA area. So that means there's nobody at UCLA, nobody at USC, nobody at Occidental, the president's alma mater. What's the hold up there? I mean, if you guys are for sex, drugs, and rock and roll, why are students uh, not more active in this? I think it's really about reaching the students and exposing them to these ideas. They're just not exposed to it on, on campuses, and professors don't talk about the ideas of liberty. Do you get more response from Democrats or Republicans, to put it crudely? Usually Republicans. They're more receptive towards the ideas of liberty because they are fiscally conservative. It's just getting them on those social issues and foreign policy. What are the big social issues that uh, you kids are you know, still sticking on these days? And it, it seems like gay marriage is kind of a battle that's been won in the next generation's hearts and minds, but tell me what's... Uh well, actually, gay marriage is one of the biggest issues when I'm talking to conservatives of trying to get them to be more receptive to pro-liberty ideas. They're not for gay marriage, so it's really sort of a struggle still. Any other stuff? I mean, drug war stuff? You still find Republicans yeah. are kind of stinting at a libertarian, taking the full dive? Yeah, they're being a little more receptive towards legalization of, of marijuana, but that's as far as they go, even if they consider. I mean, they usually are are not as receptive as libertarians towards legalization of drugs. What's the biggest sell? What do libertarians have right now that everybody says, I like that? I think a lot of people right now are upset with the state of our economy, so economic freedom is something that everyone's really receptive to. How about, not social, but uh, sort of taste issues? Uh, certainly at Reason, we tend to be a bunch of you know, middle-aged uh, former punk rockers. So what are you talking about in terms of like culturally, where do you think uh, libertarian oriented students are these days and uh, are they all Glee fans or what's the thing? Um, no, I don't think they're Glee fans. I find that a lot of them are just really about, you know, reading literature online and most of the people that I find that are libertarians are really intellectually curious so they don't spend that much time watching TV shows and movies. It's about watching documentaries and continuing to learn more about pro-liberty ideas.